Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, my brother. Guys, thank you so much for all your support. Today I'll be making under skirts. I'll be making this today. I need boning and um, lining for it. Very lightweight lining. Like this one is um, polyester, like taffeta lining. Very lightweight because uh, so that the skirt will not be heavy. The length of this skirt is length 46 but you will add your seam allowance because you will make casing for elastic or for stripe like this. I'm going to use the same measurements. The waist measurement is 44 inches and this skirt is 4 panels. So I will divide the 44 inches by 4. 44 divided by 4 is 11 inches. 11, 11 inches for one panel, the waist measurement for one panel. But you know how it's panels, I will join them together. I need half inch on this side and half inch on this side to join the panel, which is 1. So 11 plus 1 is 12. So waist measurement for one panel will be 12 inches. Then on the lower part of it, the circumference on the lower part of it is 164 inches. So 164 inches divided by 4 because it's 4 panels is 41 inches. So 41 inches is the measurement for one panel for the lower part of it. Then I still need seam allowance to join it to the other panels, which is half on this side and half on this side. So 41 plus 1 is 42. So I'll need 42 inches on the lower part also. Then, but if you want to make it, because this skirt, this is the big one, you can even make it for kids. You can make smaller one, you can make for yourself like smaller one. And because this one is not one size, this one is size 28 to 43. West size 28 to 43 inches can wear this one. So, but if you want to make your own, if you don't want it this big, because depending on what you want, the style you want, how full you want it on the lower part, the circumference. So if you don't want it this big, what you will consider is your hip, or your waist measurements. Your waist measurements, don't use your waist measurements for your waist measurements. The measurements you will use for your waist measurements will be your hip measurement for your waist measurements. I want to draft pattern for the underskirt, but you don't really need pattern for the underskirt. You can mark directly on the fabric that you're using for the underskirt. Why I'm marking on this one is because um, that fabric is white. If I mark on it, it might not be visible enough. So that's why I decided to mark on this one too. I folded this fabric into two. I folded it with the biggest measurement, which is the lower part of the skirt. On the west line here, the measurement for one panel, the waist measurement for one panel on the waist line is 11 inches. And uh, I'll add some allowance because I'll join the panels. Half inch on this side and half inch on this side. Half plus half is one. So one is some allowance. 11 plus one is 12. So 12, because I folded the fabric into two, I will divide 12 into two. 12 divided by two is six. So I'll mark six here on the waist line here. I'll mark six inches. The measurement for the lower part for one panel is 41 inches plus one inch seam allowance is 42. So 41 inches, one inch seam allowance half on this side and half on this side. So it's 42. So because the fabric, I folded the fabric into two, 42 divided by two is 21. So I'll mark 21 inches on this side. with seam allowance, 21 inches. So what I'll do next is to connect it from 6 inches on the west line to this 21 inches. I'll connect the line. I've connected the line from the west line to here, to this point, the low um, hem side. So on this side, I'll come up by 1 inch to avoid the sharp edge.
so I'll curve it to this line. So I'll cut it from this line to west line. So I'm going to cut it. I'll cut this off. This is the starting point. So, this is one panel for the skirt, but for the under skirt, this is one panel for it. Is on four that will remove the pin. So I'm going to cut four of this. I'm going to cut four of this. I've cut the four panels. If you want, before you join them, you can mark where you want to make casing for the boning, or you can mark it after joining them together. So I'll go and join it and show you. I've joined the four panels together. After that, I overlocked. So the next thing I'll do now is to measure where the boning will be, because I'll sew casing for the boning. I've marked 12 and half inches from up to this point is 12 and half inches. One and half on top is for casing for elastic or the stripe rope that you will tie on the waist. And 11 inches from the waistline to here is um, where the first boning will start. So I will not sew it from the edge here because I will leave space to pass the boning. So I marked one inch. So I will start sewing it from this one inch. I also marked 12 inch, 12 and a half here from top to this point is 12 and a half. If you want, you can connect it because that's where you will sew the, your face casing. So, I also marked 12 and a half also on this side. 12 and a half. Then on the edge here, the other end, I marked 12 and a half inches also here. Then I will not sew the casing to this point. I will stop here because I will, when I will join it together, these two edge together, I will have space to pass the boning round. I will do it and show you. Then after that, after sewing the first casing, I will mark 7 inches from that 11, 12 and a half inches. I will mark 7 inches for the second line. 6 and a half or 6 inches for the third line and the rest is 6 and a half. I used 3 and a half meters for this skirt for the four panels. But I still need like 1 meter to cut a stripe on bias for casing. So I've cut the stripes for casing, I cut it on bias, I'll use it, I'll, if it's not long enough, I'll join it. How to cut on bias, you'll fold your fabric like this, 
and you will cut. I've made casing for the boning. So what I'll do next is to sew these two edges together. To sew these two edges together. So but before I'll do that, I want to leave seven inches open up here. But I have a one and a half inches seam allowance for casing up here. So I'll measure eight and a half. From eight and a half, I will now sew this to the end. So after that, I will now overlock. After overlocking it, I will use one and a half inches to make casing on top of this on top here for rope. Then I will have seven inches open here. I will do it and show you. I've sewn the two edges together. I also overlocked. I overlocked the hem side also. From the edge, on the hem side here, from the edge to this point is three inches. Hem side to this point is three inches. On the upper part here, I folded it for the upper part for this I created channel for this something to tie I'll pass it through this I'll pass it through here like this I'll pass it through there so I'll do it later so the next thing I'll do now is to pass the boning to insert the bone this is the skirt I'm finished I use metal boning from this already made one that I bought. This is the already made one that I bought, but I use the boning for the one that I made because the plastic boning that I have is not strong enough for the skirt. The best boning for it is the is metal boning. So I use the metal boning from the already made one that I bought to for this one that I made. So on this side, to put them together, you need something like this. This one is plastic. It's like straw. You need it to put the boning together. But if you don't have it, you can use tape. To put it together. So, I'll put it on the mannequin. Please like, share and subscribe to my channel.